Assalamu alaikum everyone. Once again, welcome to online learning. Do you want to make such videos, whiteboard animation? If you want to learn that how to make it, so stay tuned. Okay, in Google Chrome bar, you have to type xlee.com. Press enter. Now, this is home page for XB. If you are creating your video first time, so you have to make your account. You have to click over here, create your first video. But as I have been already making videos on it, so I will just click on login. And I have already entered my email ID and password. So this is why. I have to press login start a blank so I will tell you how to make a video and then how to download it okay now you have to start working on your presentation if you want to make it first of all think in your mind or layout of that so I will tell you just for two slides if you will understand about two slides you can make as long as you can I want to write some text first so this is the option to type text here are three options add title add subtitle and add body text so if you want to add title first of all i will click over here and i will add my title 3d shapes i can change its size from here increase or decrease this is maximum size i want to make it little smaller i can change font style from here and even i can change color as well so after doing that, now you can see on this first slide, this text is added. But I want that there should be some picture over here. So this first one will give you a picture. Click on it. You can upload any of the picture already saved in your computer or you can take. There is a library. There are so many options, building, business, character, whatever you want. You can take it. I will select according to my title. Okay, I have added this cylinder. I can drag it under it. I can increase or decrease its size. You can see it. Second thing, if I want to add animation in it, here you can see effects. Click on it. Now you can see. This is draw it option. There are some other options as well. Draw, fade, pin, pop. If you will put your cursor on it, it will show you that how these animations will affect your figure. I want to take this draw one. So I have selected it. Next, if you will see your timeline, this is called timeline. If you will see it, my 3D shape is on first slide and cylinder is on second slide. I want to make them on one slide. So what will I have to do? You have to press control and shift this cylinder is already selected. You have to click on 3D shape and you will not have to leave control button and shift. After that, leave both buttons and press control plus G. Now you can see this slide has been grouped. I can move it anywhere I want. And here you can see on your timeline, this has become our first slide. Now this is very important to understand timing of the shape and text. If I want to check that how it looks, I will press this play button. This small screen is showing that how will this presentation appear on your home screen. So if I will play it, now you can see it is very fast and I want that text should come before that figure. Over here, you can see this green line is for cylinder and the upper one green line is for 3 3d shape you can see it would be written over here as more as objects you will add to the same slide they all will appear over here now i want that text should come first so i will move this cylinder bar i will drag it a bit forward they are still overlapping it means that at some point they will start drawing at the same time so i want to make a change I want to finish my text first. So this is how I can do it. 
Now my text would be finished first and after that the second green line will start. It means that 3D shape will start after the text. One more thing if you will see here it is written 3 seconds. It means that this slide will take 3 seconds. If you think this is less time or this is more time you can increase or decrease again by clicking on it and I want to give 5 seconds this slide. Now as I have increased it, I can also increase size of writing and drawing shape. And after completion I would have one second as well. It's totally up to you. It's customizable and you can do it according to, to your requirement. So let's play. I want to check it. Now have you seen how smoothly my first slide goes on? After checking you have to click anywhere. Next I want to make another slide. So what will I have to do? In the same way I can do it. Okay, my next slide I want to type only text. I will again click over here. Add title or subtitle whatever you want. I want to take title again. And I will type my title again Q. As I will enter it. Now this location you can see here is your slide. You can see how will it comes to your screen. If I will increase or decrease from here. Now you can see that cube has moved upwards. So you can look position of that word or figure over here in your timeline. This cube I can put anywhere, anywhere I want upwards or downwards wherever you want to move your slide. Let's play and have a look. This is my second slide and if I want to start it from the beginning 3D shapes then cylinder and now it's moving downwards because I have made cube over here. So in this way wherever you want to make you can make it upwards downwards or if you want to put it straight after 3D shapes. So again I am going to play it. Cylinder. And now your camera is moving straight towards Q. From this option on the timeline, if you will click, you can see there is written none or camera traveling. Means when your slide will move towards the next slide, do you want camera traveling or you don't want any animation? It's up to you. I have selected camera traveling. Okay, there is another option. Use. If you will click over here, there are so many audio music you can add you can check it after playing you can click over here add to the plus button i want someone to read this text here is text to speech you can select any language and there are two options those who can read that text it's up to you whose voice you like you can add it and the shapes preview i will listen that voice and if I liked it, I will click here and I have to drag it over here. Now you can see that this voice, this is your voice. This is added to your timeline. Again, if you want to drag it forward or backward, I want to decrease volume. So from here, you can decrease volume easily. Now, one more thing you have to remember that along with your work, you have to save your project. This is the save button. You have to save it. Whatever you want to give it name. Press OK. Now this is saved. If your presentation is completed, you have to export it. Click export. Creative. No need to change anything. A few options. Public. Private. Whatever you want to select. Select it and export it as well. It will take few minutes to export your file. I am saying congrats. Your video is ready. If you liked it, you can download it on your desktop and if you still want to make some changes, you can go to my videos and edit it from there. But right now I think I liked it so I have to simply 
press download and now it's going to be download on my desktop i hope you like my video if you like my video please do subscribe and don't forget to write in comment box thank you so very much allah